Okay, so when it comes to macOS Ventura, I'll be happy to let you know that the second point update has officially been released today, bringing us to macOS 13.2. This is available over the air and if you have a supported device or Mac, you can easily go into your system settings and go to software update and update to macOS 13.2. For me, the update size came in at 1.47 gigs and the download size jumped to about 2.45 gigs this is because i was already on mac os 13.2 beta if you're updating to this for the first time then expect the update size to somewhat be larger than this now other updates to expect that are going to be released alongside this you can see here if you go to operating systems, you can expect iOS and iPadOS 16.3 today. Also, macOS 13.2, of course, this is the video for that. And you can also expect watchOS 9.3, I'll be covering that, and tvOS 16.3. Most of these updates, if you want to get to know what's new within these operating systems and the new features that your devices can do, then definitely do subscribe to Half Men Half Tech so that you don't miss out now i've already updated my device like i mentioned and if we go to general and go to software update you'll be able to see that it is up to date it just takes a moment to check for an update here and you can see i'm on mac os ventura and the build number that i have here on 13.2 is 22d 49. could be slightly different at the time of the release but at this point in time this is the build number that i have today now when it comes to some of the new features and changes that are here with mac os ventura 13.2 there's quite a few and the first one when you open up your launch pad and open up your apple news app you'll notice there's a new pop-up screen that pops up here and it says personalized ads and personalized ads in apple apps such as the app store and apple news help you discover apps and products and services that are related to you and you can see here you have the option to turn off personalized ads or turn on personalized ads depending on your preferences it's something that popped up the moment i updated to mac os 13.2 if you go into your system settings and you go to your apple id i'll be happy to let you know that here if you go to where it says password and security just give it a moment to load since this is the first time i'm going through this whole run and you go all the way down you will notice that you have the ability to use security keys and you see here you have a section that says add and if you click add it just takes a moment to load and you can see here security keys and fido certified security keys a third party hardware that you can use to verify your identity when signing in now this update adds support for this and it allows users to use a physical hardware device for registration something that's more advanced and secure giving you peace of mind it's supported here on this update and that's not all when it comes to this update there are some new iCloud changes so upon updating to Mac OS 13.2 there's a new iCloud and Apple ID terms and conditions that you have to agree to after you update to this update and it all has to do with some of the other changes that are here with this update and this has to do with iCloud encryption now if you go into your settings like I am here and go to your Apple ID and click where it says iCloud right there and go all the way down you will see here there is this section that says advanced data protection and if you click here you can see that we have advanced data protection for iCloud which is here and it's supported with this update finally now before on my previous update of mac os 13.2 canada was not supported but thanks to mac os 13.2 it adds this feature globally for those that have supported devices and in case you want to know what this does this encrypts your data and not only is apple not able to see this but also law enforcement are unable to decrypt your data so from time to time if they like uh, law enforcement get um, clearance to be able to do a background or audit or basically a warrant they can go to apple and apple can give them whatever information they have on you but if you turn on this background 
advanced data protection then you will be responsible for your data recovery and if you do lose your recovery keys or whoever you set as your recovery person then this is all up to you and it's up to you to basically recover your keys and you can see some of the options that give it to you you can do account recovery recovery assistant and recovery keys and you can also have the ability to manage your recovery keys if you do have them and you, you see here you have the option to turn it on and using a recovery key increases the security of your account when you create one the only way to reset your password is by using another device already signed in with your apple id or by entering your recovery key so make sure when you turn this on you don't lose your recovery keys as the data or your account may not be recoverable so that's just another new advanced feature that's here if you go to where it says safari here and click about safari you can see here that the build has been updated the version is still the same as you can see here it's still version 16.3 but the build number that i have here on file has been updated from the previous one which is now 18614.4.6.1.5 the previous one that we had was 18614.4.4.1.4 so you can see that there's been quite a substantial jump in point updates and this has to do with tabs and lag issues that people were experiencing when they were scrolling or moving up and down on their devices and trying to report this through the feedback and thank you to all those that got back to me on twitter by reporting this issue and those that did report it to apple so that they can try and resolve this i can confirm that the lag issue has been improved in safari when you open up for the first time just like the apple news app that we saw you'll be able to see what's new in maps and it says it has added multi-stop routing and it's not only this that change in maps it also gives you the ability to be able to rate places and restaurants or even attraction centers that you might visit and you do feel like you need to give a rating a five star or something like that so that has been updated in maps and that's something that's good if we go into our system settings again and then go to where it says accessibility and go to where it says live captions unfortunately as you can see on top live captions is still in beta but you can see here when you turn on live captions and open an app that supports live caption you have this bar that pops up here on the bottom and for some reason other time it says downloading language where you see here and for some reason here it isn't showing that so perhaps it's still in beta like it says and with beta you never know whether that is going to work or not but this is the bar that i'm talking about and whenever you close facetime or you actually switch off live captions this bar goes away and that is something that i thought i should update you on now when it comes to some of the new wallpapers that are here if we are into system settings and go to the new wallpaper look at this we have the new 2023 m2 macbook pros that have just been released and you can see here you have the a grid green and you also have this other one which is grid magnenta and these correspond to the new macbook pros that have just been released and you can see here if i was to select this and select it as my new wallpaper for my secondary display this is how the the green looks like it's if for some reason if you hover over it says grid green and here it says grid magnenta so these are the new wallpapers and if you want to see where these wallpapers are you can go to the official apple website and if you go to the mac section here and you basically try and buy the new devices so we say order now you'll be able to see these new wallpapers in action and you can see for the spray uh, space gray you get this magnenta or the purple one i would just say purple and then if you go for the silver one you will see this green color that you have here so these are the new colors that are here with the new M M macbook pros that apple has just released with the new m2 pro or m2 max chips and you can see the wallpapers that now thanks to macOS 13.2 these 
updates and wallpapers are here if you're not seeing them then try and restart your device as a number of people got back to me saying that they are unable to see them so it could be a bug since you are just initially release, uh, updating to your device and after restart sometimes these things load up in the background so that's just a new change that's here with this update when it comes to some of the issues that this update fixes the first one has to do with the new application that was introduced in the previous update which is mac os 13.1 and it's the free form app and basically there were issues when with some users who were drawing strokes with their fingers or apple pencil and you are if you are sharing your screen or synchronizing or doing a team play that was not being put across to all other users that are viewing it live and that issue has been fixed and also if you have a keyboard and you press on your mac this is another issue that has been fixed if you press command and press f5 at the same time so press and hold command and hold f5 at the same time like this you should see a pop-up that says welcome to voiceover and it will tell you what voiceover can do you can't hear it for me since i have my volume turned down but before there were issues where sometimes voiceover commands wasn't working and when it may stop offering audio feedback when you are typing on your keyboard since it basically reads what you have on your screen so that has been fixed with this update the apple security page is soon going to be updating all their softwares that come with the uh, security updates and mac os 13.2 does have such security updates running in the background so it's more stable and a bit secure compared to the previous mac os 13.1 now in terms of the next update that I'll, you want to look forward to i would say when it comes to mac os 13.3 expect the next beta on the week of uh, you can see right here i'm recording this video on the 21st but expect the next beta may be between january 24th to january 27 2023 so that's when we are expecting mac os 13.3 beta and it will be in beta for like another month and when it comes to the next big update for mac os which is mac os 14 that's that's the update that's going to have the most new features and new changes and basically going to blow our minds when it comes out officially to everyone so i've made my calendar big since this is something that's big on on for wwdc 2021 that was uh, took place on june 7th and then wwdc 2022 took place on june 6th so for this year's mac os 14 or wwdc 2023 where we expect mac os 14 i strongly feel like apple is going to do this on june the 5th it's a monday and so have the previous two years been on mondays so mac os 14 the first beta is expected on june 5th 2023 now other than that guys that's about it for me when it comes to mac os 13.2 if you do like this video leave a like and subscribe and stay safe and i'll keep you up to date as much as i can Thank you and stay safe.